Hey guys, so in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the five best productivity tools for new entrepreneurs. Each of these platforms can be a game changer for your business and all of them are free to use. So with all that being said, let's get started. Okay, starting off at number five, we have Notion. Notion is a great platform because of its all around usefulness. You can literally store everything in Notion, whether it be your personal or work life. So things like tracking habits, creating goals, staying on top of deadlines, organizing your work schedule, team members, taking notes, and yeah, the possibilities are pretty much endless. You have tons of templates to choose from and it's a totally free platform that you can start using right now. Now, if your business has a team, then you're gonna wanna use the pro plan, which does cost money, but you can actually get it for free if you're a student. If not, it's still definitely worth the investment. This is what Charlie used for the majority of his businesses when he first started out. And yeah, we have a ton of videos on Startup Wise that will actually teach you how to create things like employee dashboards, as well as how to create content calendars for your YouTube channel. Okay, next up we have Slack, which is a communication platform that you can use for sending files, messages, and group texts among your team. Now, this is super useful if you have a ton of contractors on platforms like Upwork or Fiverr because those platforms don't really allow you to search through old messages and it can be pretty messy when you have a ton of files that you're sending to each other. This is a totally free platform of up to, I think, about 10,000 messages. After that, they start disappearing, but if you're a new entrepreneur, most likely you're not gonna need to invest in the paid plan just yet. You can use the web browser version or the app and there's tons of different things that you could do like start threads, group chats, and channels for your contractors to be organized into their respective roles in the business. Let's say you have a couple of YouTube automation businesses. Well, if you want, you can create different channels on Slack that only specific members in your workspace can access depending on which channel that they're working with. This way, the entire team of that one channel can communicate with each other. And yeah, it makes things a lot more organized. Overall, we highly recommend this platform for all new entrepreneurs that are looking for a platform to communicate with their team members. Okay, next up on the list is iCalendar. Now I prefer Apple Calendar because it syncs with my phone so I can see what my schedule looks like without needing my laptop with me. Time blocking is super important for productivity. So it's definitely recommended for an all new entrepreneurs to use a platform where they can organize their planning. If you don't wanna use Apple Calendar, you have a bunch of other options like Google Calendar, and you can even use a platform like Notion to schedule everything that you need. For those of you guys that want a quick guide to iCalendar, I'll just give you guys a brief introduction. So up at the top, you could change the view. So if I click on day, then it's gonna show all the activities in the day. Week, you'll be able to see everything that the week, and then month, and also the year. I like to look at the week view, and from here, if you wanna create something new, then you can either click on the top left hand corner where you see the plus sign, or you could just double click where you want to make the event. As you can see right here, it tells you the time. So if I wanted to start something at 5 p.m., then I will just have to click and drag to 5 p.m. And yeah, I can move this around to different dates as well. And once I create the event, I just have to double click on it. Right here where it says new event, I could just click on that. So let's say I wanna rename this film new video. Right here, I can add a location or a video call. And right here where you see this blue box, you can actually change this to your different calendars. As you guys can see, I have a calendar for home, for work. I have two different calendars for myself. And I also have a shared calendar with Charlie. Now, if I click on this date right here, then I can see that I can make the event an all day event. And I can also change the start date and the end date. Right here, I can change when it repeats. So if I click on that, I can change it to every day, every week, every month, year. And I can also go custom if I wanna make something like bi-weekly or just a custom schedule. Right here, they have the travel time. So if you're gonna be traveling somewhere, then you can add the amount of time that it takes for you to get there. And the best part is right here where it has alerts. So you can actually add an alert that gives you a reminder and you could change it to at the time of the event, five minutes before, 10 minutes before, and you can also add multiple alerts. So let's say I want it to remind me at the time of the event and I can click on this plus sign right here and I can also add another alert for five minutes before. This means I'm gonna get an alert at the top right hand corner of my laptop and I'm also gonna get an alert on my iPhone telling me I need to film this new video at 5 p.m. So if you wanna invite somebody, then you can actually add their email right here and it's basically gonna invite them to the event through email. Down here, you can add any notes, a URL and attachments. And yeah, super simple to use and I just really like how it syncs in with my iPhone so I can pretty much see my schedule whenever I want. Now, one thing that I wanna say is that every day you should be writing down three to five most important tasks and then blocking out times in your calendar to do those tasks. This way, if you're an entrepreneur that likes to multitask like me and you struggle with focusing on just one task, putting it onto your calendar and then time blocking it helps you focus and get rid of all the other distractions. I say it definitely makes me more intentional with the time that I have set so I know exactly what I'm working on and when. Overall, another great platform that we recommend for all new entrepreneurs. Okay, number two on the list is gonna be Zapier, which is a great platform for automation automating things within your business. The way it works is through an if-then format where you can have something automatically be a trigger for when something happens. Zapier also allows you to connect a bunch of different actions so you can have it to where something happens and then something else happens, something else happens after that, and then something else happens after that. You can kind of build a chain reaction of events and you can integrate pretty much any two platforms together. They have over 5,000 apps that you can integrate like Gmail, Notion, Calendly, and Slack to name a few. And the platform 
is totally free to use up to a certain amount of automations. After that, you have to pay a monthly fee depending on how many Zaps that you need in your business. But I'll say that most new entrepreneurs will be able to use Zapier's free version to automate things that don't require much mental space and are just administrative tasks that take up time. There are tons of tutorials online from creators like Ravi Abuvala that make a lot of good videos on how to make your business more efficient through Zapier. To give you guys a brief example of how Zapier works, I'm on our Zapier dashboard right here. And if I wanna create a new Zap, then I'll just have to click on this button right here on the top left. And from here, it gives me a list of all the triggers that I can use. Again, these are just a few of them. And as you can see down here, it says they have over 5,200 more. To give you guys an example, let's say you have a YouTube automation channel. And let's say you use the two platforms, Frame and Slack to communicate with your editors and your VA. Well, all I would have to do is search up Frame right here. And as you can see, Frame.io shows up. I just click on that. Right here, it asks me to choose an event. So I just have to click on when a new asset is uploaded, click continue, and it's gonna have me choose my account, click continue, and then it's gonna have me set up a trigger. So in this case, it would be a team. So if I click on that, then it's gonna give me the option of Charlie's team and I'll click continue. And then it's gonna have me test the trigger. For now, I'll just skip that and I'll go straight to the action. So for the action, I wanna be able to send a message to my VA. So I'll just click on Slack right here. And for the event, we can just scroll down and actually send a channel message, click continue, and then we can choose a Slack account. Once you connect your account, then it's gonna ask you to choose a channel. So let's say right here, I wanna choose YouTube. And for the text message, let's say I wanna say, hey team, there was a new video that just uploaded onto frame. Right here, I could choose to send this as a bot. I'll just keep it at yes for now. And you can change the bot name if you want, and you can include a link to this app, attach any images, and you have a bunch of different other options that you could choose right here. For now, I'll just keep all this at default and I'll click continue. And then from here, all I have to do is test the action and then publish it. Up here at the top left-hand corner, I can name this app to, let's say, frame to Slack team message. And yeah, once I publish this, that's basically gonna allow my Slack to send out automatic messages to my team every time I upload a new video onto Frame. This way it saves me a ton of time and so I don't have to go onto Slack and message everybody that's in the process. Instead, I could just upload onto Frame and Zapier can automate everything for me. Overall, a great platform that you can use to increase your productivity by allowing you to automate things so you can focus on higher leverage activities that'll grow the business. All right, number one on the list is not really a tool, it's more of a technique and it's called the Pomodoro Timer. Now, this is a method that I highly recommend for every entrepreneur to try at least once. It's one of the most well-known productivity tricks and it's pretty simple to do. Here's how. First, you just set a timer on your phone for 25 minutes and you work on one task. After that 25 minutes, you take a small five minute break and you repeat this three to four times before taking a big break of 15 to 30 minutes. And if you're wondering about the science, here's how the technique works. Basically, when you're doing long tasks, taking short breaks allows you to not get bored so easily. And doing short bursts of work can actually help you concentrate better. This is especially important if you're working remotely at a desk, like in front of your laptop or computer, and having only 25 minutes to work on whatever you need to allows you to zoom in and really focus on the task at hand. I actually recommend buying a kitchen timer because with a phone, you know, it can go off and it can distract you. And having something that only works as a timer stops you from multitasking when you realize you only have a limited amount of time. For new entrepreneurs, I recommend starting small. If you're the type to get easily distracted, try only working for 10 minutes at a time before you reward yourself with a cup of coffee, a five minute walk, or a snack. One thing I'll say is don't reward yourself with something that can distract you like your phone or scrolling through the internet because that would just defeat the purpose of this entire productivity hack. If you have small tasks like writing a check to the bank, scheduling your doctor's appointment, or reading an article, you can group those together in one 25 minute session. And yeah, once the timer is set, you really can't do anything but work on that task. This means no answering emails, texts, or calls unless it's an emergency. Try this out and it'll probably increase your productivity by a ton. Overall, a great method that you can use to be more productive and achieve more in less time. Anyways, that's it for the top five best productivity platforms for new entrepreneurs. And if you know somebody that can benefit from this video, we would really appreciate it if you shared it with them as well. If you guys got some value out of this video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. We make a ton of tutorials on StartupWise dedicated to helping new entrepreneurs start their own business and take their productivity to the next level. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.